Hello, what is up and welcome to the sixth episode of this devlog series where we build an endless runner in Unity and we do it in a quick and dirty fashion. This is the first project I plan to release. When we are done we will drop the game on the mobile app stores and we will see how that goes. In the last episode we have set up our character, we imported the model, also a new character controller and we have also set up its basic movement and animations. We also included a tune shader to give the game a more comic look to it and I think that works really well with the kind of low poly style we are going for. Guys if you want to see more devlogs like this please subscribe, leave me a like or a comment to let me know what you think. Now our goal was to actually spawn some stuff on the road like obstacles and so on. But to do that properly and so that we don't have to waste too much time in replacing stuff afterwards, I decided to start rebuilding the road model so that it fits our requirements. I mean the model that we use now is great, looks awesome, but as you can see here, there is a lot of unnecessary topology used. There are lots of vertices and faces which the player never will see in the game, like the ground for example and also the grass part, but the hidden element still gets rendered, right? So we need to build it in a more efficient way so that we don't waste any more performance than needed. So I quickly opened up Blender and began modeling it. I'm not that good in Blender yet, but for a simple model like a road, it should be more than enough. I also wanted to adjust the size a little bit. I mean, our road prefab was cool and all, but it was like the four lane highway or something like that, all growing to a small town. So I googled for some real road sizes, which are used as standards in some towns, and I went with that. Uh, besides the width, I also changed the length of the road tile to fit perfectly with the uh, size of the side content tiles, which I also decided to change at least size-wise. Before we had 60 meter road tiles and 30 meter for the side content prefabs, I decided to go with 44 meters for both now. That should be a good size in terms of the look and it should also reduce the code complexity a little bit, especially later on when we have uh, more uh, types of stuff like crossroads and so on. After importing the new models in Unity, I of course had to adjust everything in code as well as the prefabs itself. That was some work, but I think it will pay off. So I quickly adjusted everything and I also refined the meshes in Blender after testing it one more time. And as you see now, we have ourselves a brand new road, which is much more fitting to our small town scheme than the four lane highway road we used before. I will definitely come back to this later and play around some more when we add some more functionality, but for now it's okay. It was very important that we first have our ride size roads ready so that we can now properly ride our obstacle spawner, which was up next. First, I had to look for some props in our assets and see if we have there anything we could use for our obstacles and I found a lot of stuff. After I found myself some prefabs, I had to quickly think about a concept how we can spawn this and I started building some example obstacle prefabs to start. I've built about 20 prefabs or so, but I definitely have to build more in the future and I also plan to cluster them by difficulty so that we can spawn more difficult prefabs as we progress. After some testing and refinement, the first prototype of obstacle spawning is ready and here is the result. I'm pretty happy that it worked straight away and we don't have to do some debugging or researching to get things going. I also decided that it's about time to introduce our very first UI element. Nothing spectacular, but a simple display of our distance traveled in meters. So I added a canvas and a simple text to it and I also created another game element, which will be our game manager. He will later take care of the scores, counting collectible items, managing the UI and also the scenes, but for now he will just be displaying how far we move to the level. So I added a simple script to just display the distance based on the rounded player's position and that's it for now. Here's how our UI looks now, it's nothing spectacular, but I think it adds a little bit to the scene. And like always, we will do now a quick before and after conversion so that you can see the progress I made in the last couple of days. Here is how it looked at the end of the last episode. You see the massive highway which is going through the small little town. And we also have a kind of empty road, no obstacles whatsoever. And this is how the game looks now. First we have rebuilt our road in Blender to much better fit our scenery. Also the model has better performance than the old one since we don't use any topology we don't need anymore. Also we added our first obstacles which get spawned randomly. Of course this will be enhanced much more in the future but our prototype is ready and playable and I think it looks pretty good and runs smooth. And of course we also added a UI element which displays our travel distance. Overall I think the progress made is pretty solid, I pretty much like our prototype and I'm looking forward to the next steps. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode on the Endless Runner, if so please leave me a like, subscribe to this channel to stay updated and also leave me a comment and let me know what you think. 
Next up, I will further improve the behavior of the spawned obstacles. There are still a few things to do like optimize the frequency, play around with the colliders and also react when the player hits an obstacle. I don't plan to end the game when the player hits an obstacle like a barrel or something like that, but rather slow him down or stagger him so that he is an easier target for the enemies hunting him. Guys, I'm out for today. I will grab myself a drink and I will chill a little bit. It was a very hard week, but I also was able to get a lot of stuff done. So with not much further ado, see you in the next video, take care and stay healthy, bye bye.